It's pretty common knowledge that Disney intends to milk the Star Wars franchise for money until it dies of malnourishment. And as part of that, it was known that at least one live action TV show would be produced for Disney's upcoming streaming service. But we now have more details about the series and a pretty exciting name as well, The Mandalorian. This would be the first Star Wars live action TV series, though as a matter of fact, there has been one planned on and off since 2005. Originally, George Lucas intended to produce a series set between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, that focused on their transition from the Republic to the Empire. It would also have involved such matters as Boba Fett's coming of age, Palpatine's backstory, and the birth of the Rebel Alliance. However, this show, which was tentatively titled Star Wars Underworld, was scrapped when Disney took the reins of the franchise, though many planned elements from the show were incorporated into canon since, most notably including Sheev, the best name in all of Star Wars. However, while Disney scrapped Star Wars Underworld, they didn't let go of the idea of a live-action Star Wars TV show. The formerly unnamed show was in the shadows of the planning stage for a good while, and not much was known except that Jon Favreau, the man behind 2008's Iron Man and the voice of Pre Vizsla, would be directing it with a $100 million budget for the first season. However, we now have a good deal of information about this show, which as stated before, will now be called Star Wars The Mandalorian, with the name still subject to change by Disney executives. The Mandalorian will be set three years after the Battle of Endor, with the New Republic still consolidating its power after the collapse of the Empire. As a result, much of the Outer Rim is lawless, and it's in such a region that our story will be set. After the time of Jango and Boba Fett, our Mandalorian protagonist will be a gunslinger-type character out in the wild west of the Star Wars Outer Rim territories. In essence, it's going to be what the bounty hunter arc from Star Wars The Clone Wars would have been, but at a different time, and it is of course a show in itself as well. We don't really know anything else about this story, but what we do know is a bit about who will be involved. A number of notable names are included as being involved in the show, but most importantly, we know that our Lord Commander, the Honourable Dave Filoni himself, will be involved and will direct the first episode. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like enough to convince me to at least give episode 1 a shot. Alongside Dave Filoni directing the first episode, Taika Waititi of Thor Ragnarok, Rick Famuyiwa, Bryce Dallas Howard and Deborah Chow will also be directing the other episodes. Now, there is of course plenty of room for speculation here, with the only limitation being that it has been stated that the cast will be entirely composed of new characters, though I wouldn't say a cameo from a more well-known player in galactic events is unlikely. That still leaves us with many questions, including where it will be set, how deep it will go into Mandalorian culture, whether or not we'll see Mandalore, and above all, whether it will confirm Boba Fett's survival after Return of the Jedi. The Mandalorian will be released alongside The Clone Wars Season 7 on Disney's upcoming streaming service next fall, and will have a first season of 10 episodes. We're pretty excited about this, and we anticipate the release of more details soon. But as always guys, let me know what you think. Are you hyped? What theories do you have about the show? Be sure to post all your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.